Hello everybody. Now, remember a couple of weeks ago when I uploaded a video on the Dutch file effects, uh, aka the success agenda, and now I had like four of them? I've got a few more now, but um, I'm going to consider this a business deal because in a moment you'll find out why. So let me explain. I was looking online, as I always do, at least a couple times a day. I'm looking at secondhand uh, listings to see what's out there because I do also like to just get a good deal every once in a while. And I saw one listing of uh, a whole bunch of items, all types of leather stuff, and for one price. So basically you get a box full of a whole bunch of different things. And a whole bunch of those were also success agendas. So I thought, hey, if I can get my hands on that one, uh, I'm going to have a whole bunch of them to review, obviously, but also to sell on later. So I'm considering this more of an investment type of thing. But looking at the box, it is kind of like uh, slightly worrying. Um, of course, I have the explanation that I'm going to eventually sell a bunch of them on, most of them, and uh, keep a few. But yeah, it is a little bit crazy how much stuff I have at the moment. Um, so little story about that, I made the bid, they had a certain price that they asked, like a base price, so I offered the base price, and after a while somebody uh, bid a little bit more than me, so I removed my initial offer, because I'm like, yeah, well, somebody else has offered more, so probably they're going to sell it to that person, okay, fine, that's just how it goes. And then a couple days later, I get a message from the seller saying, hey, are you still interested, like question mark, question mark, because you removed your offer. I was like, yeah, well, somebody uh, offered more, so that's why I removed it, so that's correct, I removed the offer. He's like, yeah, well, this person, uh, they're not very good, they can't agree upon a pickup date, and uh, if you're still interested, then I'll sell it to you for the base price. So I'm like, okay, that sounds good, so we got that going. And today, the box has arrived, and let me just get it. There. It's not completely full, but all you can see right now is the top, of course, because the distance from the table to the top of the box is covering pretty much all the distance from the camera to the tabletop. So, anyway, um, I'm going to take this box off of the table first, and then we'll take a look at the items that came in there that were not success agenda. So let's do that. And then we're going to take a look at what's actually in here. Okay, so it was a shipment of leather items, and it was a whole bunch of success agendas, but also a whole bunch of these. These guys over here, they're also not bad, but I don't think I would be able to do much with them. Uh, this one I do like because of the contrasting stitching, and it's kind of like for a notebook, so I think I will keep a few just for my own personal use. This is probably going to be one of them. And most of them are kind of like this. You open them up, you have this thing on the one side and these card things on the other. That's most of them in different types of leather, different colors. This is also nice. And the red one, always good. You can see a uh, different logo down here. This is not the Success Agenda logo. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but that's what it is. These are pretty much all the same, and then there's one, not this one, this one, that actually has a, a fold in it. So you get this, standard stuff, and then look, an address book in the background here. Now, none of this stuff has been used before, so this was put up for sale uh, someplace and didn't sell, and eventually ended up in this big box with a deal, so to speak, for anybody who wanted it, and that turned out to be me, so... These are all brand new, pretty much. Don't know how old they are. Uh, I've looked at some of the success agendas that are in the box, and they're, some of them are still up for sale. So I think they're not that old, some of them anyway. So there's this bunch, and then we also have a whole bunch of these. These are all... Uh, oh, this one's kind of dirty. I think I'm going to have to try cleaning that, but okay. These are all just plain... Um, wallets with a whole bunch of sections there's five sections because this is also a section back here a little difficult to see but there it is so these are all like raw leather sewn together basically you can also see here what the original price was originally it was 39 euros and then it got marked down to 1770 and i guess that didn't sell either so there's this bunch uh, how much do I have of those? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because there's one off camera. Because before I get to the success agendas, uh, I want to talk about what I might be doing with these guys. See, these are all leather, so quality-wise, they're pretty good. I'm gonna have to clean this one, but other than that, it's perfectly fine. 
and uh, people could get some use out of these things but most of these are looking so plain that most people probably wouldn't want one but I have one off over here and I was thinking what if I made these little ringlets this one didn't go very well but what if I did it better than this and put a little ringlet uh, on one side and then put like a little wristband uh, with beads or something on the outside over here so to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit or I was thinking I could make a whole bunch of holes along the flap and then kind of like do a bit of uh, crocheting around the edges to make it look a little fun as well in different colors. And I think that would make it look a lot more enticing for people. And then I'll probably just put them back uh, up for sale on a secondhand marketplace. And there's only like, how much did I say, nine of these? Yeah, so I'll be done with that pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure if I can clean this one. Uh, it feels like it's on the surface, so this should be cleanable. So eventually I'll have sold these nine. And for these guys, I might do something similar. But there isn't much space here for punching holes. There's only the middle bit here. So I could maybe do like a hole here. And then also put a little uh, tag on there for people to put it around their wrist or something. Just to kind of make them look a little more interesting. And that'll probably help sell them. So then these are going to go eventually. And I also got one of these. I'm guessing it's for your glasses. If you have like a pair of thin glasses that might go in here, there appears to be like a loop inside. I don't know if you guys can even see that. There's like a loop here. Can I go all the way through here? I guess it's for like the, uh, one of the legs of the glasses goes all the way down. It's kind of like fluffy as well. I don't have glasses. So for me, it's not super interesting. It's from Giorgio Fadon. Don't know what brand that is. But, you know, it's a thing, and maybe I'll be able to sell this off as well. I probably won't be able to do the whole thing with the, with the ringlets there, but uh, maybe somebody just wants one of these because of the brand. I've never heard of it, but there might be an enthusiast out there. We can always give it a try. But, okay, that is this bunch. So I will probably do an update as well when I have more of these guys worked up to something more interesting looking. And then we'll hopefully have something fun to put up for sale. Look at all these guys together. That looks kind of fun, actually. All right, so there's those guys. Now let's grab the box. I'm not going to put the box on the table. I'm just going to like uh, reach in and grab a couple of things so we can look at them one by one. I'm going to start with the ones that look the most plain, and then we'll work up to the more interesting ones. All right, this is your standard success agenda. Just like those other things, none of these have ever been used by anybody. At least I don't think they have. So all the standard stuff is still in here. You can see here that it used to be marked up to 105 euros. Now, one thing about success agendas is that quite honestly, I don't think they were ever really worth their new price. But yeah, they apparently think that they are. So I think Father Facts has a similar issue. But yeah, there is a... Uh, a bit of a card in here, some text on it to talk about what this is. There's anything in English in there? Yeah, it's underneath this tab. I don't really want to remove the tag. It's, okay, so that's basically the standard story where you have a uh, leather item. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. There is this thing, the rings. I'm going to open them up for a moment so I can get the stuff out and take a better look. Make time a success, organizing system. So here we go. Success established in 1928, grew to be a world leader in high quality loose leaf organizers through craftsmanship and design. Such a world leader that I don't think people in the UK have heard of it, but that's fine. And uh, let's see, in the success collection, there is a choice of sizes, materials, and colors suitable for any environment from a classic business style to a topical fashion statement with an extensive range of professional tools success organizers are the key to organizing your life successfully all right so you got some stuff in here about them and the guarantee etc it doesn't have a year on it but it does have an overview of the different things that you could have gotten uh different types of inserts etc no year it's unfortunate that it didn't actually have a year on here then we could have like had a better idea what year we're looking at if they had a year on there, that would have been nice. Okay, so this is just a ring guard. Nothing special here. Ring just has the typical S at the bottom there. Does it say what size this is? Deluxe top gray natural leather. Da, 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 da. Blue. Because they normally have like a certain size, like uh, a standard senior junior mini. This has the rings as a junior but i think this is a senior by the, the thickness or the length i would say 
the width is the thing I'm looking for, not the length, because that's this. So, okay, but anyway, so these are some nice looking, hefty looking rings. Let's take a look. Oh, they are very difficult to close, they're very heavy. But okay, they open fairly well. Closing is not something you would do in the library. And the pockets, of course, let's see, you got two full lengths here, you got a couple of card slots. And this looks like it's two different sizes. Yes, so it's not a full length, or am I just not holding it properly? No, no, this is actually full length with one of these smaller ones over here. And this looks like a gusseted uh, pocket with a zipper, right? So with the success logo on the inside, fancy. Pen loop points in with the elastic, and they all seem to have the elastic on the pen loops. So that seems to be a standard deal. All right, let's put this thing back on because it might want to be protected. Okay, so I'm putting this back in here. And you, this has been moved around a lot, as you can see. It's not the first time that this uh, piece of paper has been uh, messed with. So I'm guessing people have paged through this quite often. I'll just put it in like this. But unfortunately, they could not make a sale. But it is a dark blue, and I do like the feel of it. It's very dark blue. It probably shows up as black on the camera, but it's super dark navy. And it is nice and fluffy. Currently, it doesn't have anything in it. So if it were like opened or at least um, had a bit more inserts, it would be a bit more like this. And then it would also be very nice. So this is one blue one. I'm going to start by putting it on the table, but I think we're not going to have enough space. But we'll see. I'll put this one here for now. So that's you. Oh, I like these. This is also a very dark blue. This clasp looks like it's a little bit oxidized. So I might have to like polish that up a little bit. But it's another dark blue with, I guess, a magnet closing opening. How does this work? Like this. Okay, great. So it's like this. You have to push these two in and then that lets go. And then this one gets released. All right. Oh, this one actually has a little bit of uh, leather on the inside. Top grain leather, as you can see. This bit is not very flexible, but the time or the success agenda itself is reasonably. Good, we have another one of these cards. Yep, but then the larger version, success.com. Oops. Oh my god, can I just please do this? There we go. It's called Royal Blue, this color, and it is neat, very nice. And another deluxe clip, apparently. This does look like a standard. The rings also look very oxidated. You see, you can just kind of rub that off so we would be able to clean this but it does show that it's been sitting in a box for some time and they appear to be aligned so that's great let me just open all right also very snappy what do we have here this is a, another card for a success agenda nothing super interesting about you it's just to kind of show a couple of the features we have a uh, oh yeah i have one of these in red I got a different success agenda in between the previous video and this one, and I had like the smaller version of this with a, a slightly different magnetic closing. And then you can also see this, this weird type of pocket that they put in here. It's very stylish. I kind of like it. So we have a bunch of card slots. This one was 105 apparently originally. You have this slot, which is uh, a nicely, uh, I don't know how I would call this finish, but it's kind of like stamped. And this is a pocket under here, and then there's a pocket under here as well. It does not come out. But it's not going to have a similar setup, but then no card slots. So, and again, the pen loop that points inward with elastic, which will wear eventually. But if you haven't used it too much, then I guess it's okay for now. And so that is you, lovely blue color. This goes back together. This random piece of paper came off of it, so that goes over here. Don't know how long you've been sitting in a box, but you know, can... Oh, look, you have a little bit of damage there. So that's something to keep in mind. Or can I scratch it off? Is it dirt? It might just be where the color didn't quite hit, or it got hit with some type of bleach or something. I don't know, there's something going on with this. We'll have to take a look at that. But in any case, other than that, pretty good. So that's a blue one. A black one. I'm guessing this is also a senior or standard. Oh, this one has been underneath something because I can see that there is... Oh, I think that's this thing that we're seeing an imprint of. That's not too bad, though. I don't think people will mind it too much. All right, this one does not have anything in it, so maybe this one has been used at some point. That would be interesting to have one that's actually been in circulation because it certainly does not have any sort of 
uh, pieces of paper in here to talk about how great it is. It does not have a another one of those, um, what you call it, price tags on it. Also, I see that this one's kind of like getting loose over here. I don't think I'll be able to sell this on. As you can see, there's looseness over here, looseness over there. Maybe this is a production error. Alright, so that's something else then. We have a full length pocket on this side and a smaller one over there. Once again, pen loop. Uh, no idea how old this is. I think this is a standard because the standard has a gap in the middle. Once again, kind of oxidized metal here. Well, that sounded good. Oh, they are difficult to close, but they, at least they are in alignment. Maybe this could be like glued or something and then it would still be decent. I don't know. This would be a slightly harder sell, I think, but I think eventually people will find this interesting enough and also because it has been used, there's always somebody out there who is interested in used uh, binders, so I'm pretty sure eventually you would find somebody for this, but for now I'm just going to put it aside over there. It's a good size in any case. Alright, we have a nice brown one. This one looks very sleek. Feels good too. It's about the same size as you, but slightly slimmer. I'm guessing this is like the difference between standard and uh, junior, or I mean senior. I don't even know the sizes. I'm gonna stop trying to guess sizes because I'm not good at it. All right, here we go. 109 originally. All right, so we're still in that ballpark. This looks like it's been plasticized. Oh no, it's a piece of cardboard. Wow, that's really thick. That's a thick thing there, thick boy. And this is another one of those uh, top grain leather things. And another one of these, pretty much the same. Also, they have bags. I've seen a bag of theirs before, but um, I'm looking for a bigger bag than this, so probably not gonna get one of those. Same with the pockets. This is the same layout as the others. And these rings still look like they need a bit of polishing, but they are okay otherwise. I think they're all gonna be very loud. Yeah, definitely. If you're trying not to wake people up, don't get one of these. All right, but it is very solid. And like I said, it feels nice and it looks to be in great condition compared to the one we just had. This one is um, good as new. And all of these smelled all right. I already kind of like whiffed the box, but they all just kind of smell like leather. There's nothing particular going on with the smell. So that's also not an issue. This one will definitely sell because it's in great shape and it just looks really nice. So that's good. There's quite a few of these brown ones. I'm going to go through them quickly. This is a slightly lighter brown. Aye, this one is an outford. Oh, this isn't even a success agenda. Or is it? There's an S here. But this one says Luigi. That's interesting. This one was originally 45 bucks. So it's interesting that we have a different one in here. Okay, let's take a look at this Luigi. Part of the result of yours. La, 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 da, 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 device for maintenance. So this is a different one. That's interesting. All right. I was not expecting that, but... We have literal cards in the card slot. That's kind of funny. Uh, no fake credit cards, unfortunately. And a th let's see, two. I guess you would call this three full length pockets over here. This one is also. No, this is not actually a full length. This is a full length pocket. And this is. This is just stitching. Well, that's interesting. Why did they do that? No idea. This one is also not a pocket. So we have another full length and a halfy over here. This one's outward facing, like I said. And no. Uh, elastic, so that's also good. It is very tough, but of course after a while it would get better. I've never heard of Luigi Planners, so that's an interesting one. Might hang on to it just for the fact that it's a different type that I was not expecting. Luigi Raphael, it says over there. So there is one of you in here. It wasn't marketed as a box full of success agenda, it's just like marketed full of uh, a box full of letter stuff and a whole bunch of them were success agendas, but there's always something odd in there, of course. Let's see if this is also a Luigi one, because this one looks very similar. Yeah, there we go. This one looks the same. This is probably the exact same. Oh yeah, 45 bucks. This one still has ring protectors, and they also look good. And this is the same little card. All right, this one's pretty much the same then. We don't need to spend too much time on you. All right, so we're getting to the more interesting ones in a moment, but I'm just getting through these first. Okay, this is another success agenda. It was originally 110. That's more expensive than one of the others. And the rest is pretty much the same. Has a zip pocket. A little bit of gusting there. And again, the standard loop. 
looks all right. Wings once again oxidized. Slight difference here, but not too much. Not so much that it would like cause an issue with paper, I don't think. It just kind of didn't go back because it folds itself open as you're doing that. Everything else does appear to be okay. This is vegetable treatment oil again. Okay, standard over here. This does look like a junior because it's kind of slim and it has the six rings together. I said I was going to stop guessing at sizes. All right, I have a mini here. This one has been sitting underneath some stuff, but this stuff comes off, I'm pretty sure, because uh, it looks like it's not leather at all. I don't know, I have to look at that, but this looks like a mini. This one's kind of sticky. This one needs a little bit of cleaning. Whoops, in the booklet is also a little bit sticky. What's going on with you? I guess it's been sweating a bit. All right, we have a full length here, a halfy here. This one used to be 55 bucks. Cow leather with a light structure, all right. And the weird division of the mini is the rings. So that's a little bit of an issue. I still don't have a punch that does this. I just have to use the, a certain punch like a couple of times in order to get the paper to actually go into my mini, but eventually we'll get there. So we'll get to a uh, good result at some point. But anyway, so um, this is a mini. It's nice. I like it. Just needs a bit of cleaning and uh, de-sticking, whatever that is. All right, this is the last one of the plain ones. So there's one plain one, but that one's quite large, so I'll uh, review that one uh, later. This one is another dark blue, almost purple. Another Rena. Does it actually have the price on it? It does not. But I'm guessing it's another 105 or something. A ring protector here. Very close together, these rings. Full length, half size card slots and full length on this size. I do like the color. I am a fan of this really dark blue. It's very nice. Okay, so that's the most plain color ones. Uh, there are some plain color, but they have texture, so I'm gonna grab those next. Whoop, almost dropped a whole bunch of stuff. So there is this one next. This has a bit of a cut to it. Interesting, interesting look. Let's see what this even is. It show oh, it's got a magnet closing. Oh, this is a limited edition. Nice. I love limited editions. There's this thing that's super in the way. Uh, that's because there is this little plasticky thing here. How does you? Oh, wait, you're supposed to go around, but you're not cooperating. No, oh, that's great. Oh, I think I'll just open the rings in a moment to get that out because apparently that's a special thing and it does not want to cooperate. It has two pen loops. There you go. Both pointing inwards though. Whole bunch of card slots and a halfy pocket on the bottom. This is full length. This is full length. And this is a full length. Let's see all the pockets here. Okay, now I'm going to open the rings. Get all this madness out of the way. There we go. It was supposed to probably just kind of hang there. Uh, like so, or something like that, to kind of show people that it's a uh, successful oh, look 135. That it's a special edition, and then this thing can go back as well. Put that on the side of the rings. Whoop, there we go. So there is you, and the inside has a lot more card slots. I don't know who needs this many card slots, but apparently they thought somebody did, and that's why they made this version. Now uh, this card has come out the side and has since gotten kind of curled up. Let's put it back together. There you go, magnet closing. You don't see those very often with these guys. So I'm going to have to put you over here now. All right, I'm just going to interrupt real quick because I think this video is long enough. I'm going to have to turn it into multiple parts, probably two. We'll see how it goes. But this will be the end of part one. And I hope to see you in the next part. Hope you enjoyed it so far. In any case, thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.